Firkin Ember Lambda 750 spectrophotometer. Uh, this system uh, is interfaced to a computer with a Windows 7 app operating system on it. And there's a software, application software, that drives the spectrophotometer. It's uh, Perkin Elmer UV WinLab. And so the software enables to run the system and we can set up the data collection modes here. So there's a deuterium lamp in the machine and a tungsten halogen lamp. And depending on the wavelength selected, the lamp selection will change. And there are different mirrors and a monochromator. Um, and the beam is uh, finally directed to the sample chamber here, sample compartment, and followed by the detector. There is a photomultiplier tube detector and a lead sulfide detector in the machine. Lead sulfide detector is used for the infrared operations. And once the a method is selected uh, where the from and two wavelengths in nanometers are, are set and the data intervals and the scan speed is also set here by changing the numbers. And we can repeat the scans, number of cycles, we can increase it or decrease it depending on the uh, desired operation. And once the selection is over, we can press start. So once we start, the system will start a scan and will display a plot. So I'm going to select a new sample here. So various uh, displays are here, such as the NIR slit width is selected, and NIR detector response, and near infrared uh, uh, lead sulfide detector gain is selected. So all these program parameters can be adjusted and any corrections if necessary. And the processing, there's a window up here which can be selected if necessary. And also various reports can be generated and written in uh, Microsoft Excel sheets or can be printed. So the provision exists. So there is also an additional window, uh, UV WinTab data processor, and here the data plot can be processed. for various uh, parameters, uh, either absorption or transmittance parameters can be selected, and a derivative or a normalized curves and comparison curves can be plotted.
So as soon as we click on uh, the UV Wind Lab application, a perk number login window will appear and you can select uh, analyst to proceed with the analysis of the samples and then uh, the wind lab explorer window opens up and then once we click on scan lambda 750 another window the method window the base method window will open So once the scan window is selected, the initialization of the spectrometer takes place. And the unit will also check the instrument calibration. And the sample ID, there's a default counter which will uh, always be a new sample ID. And once you press start, the the craft window will open, and the unit will start to set up the machine to the settings as set in the data collection window. The unit requires about 30 minutes warm-up time after power up. So once the system is selected to run a sample, the unit will start setting it up and a window will pop up uh, prompting to remove the sample so that uh, it will perform 100% transmission. So here's a sample compartment and I have a previous sample. So we remove it and then press OK. So this cuvette is used for liquid samples. The detailed uh, user's manual for the uh, WinLab application will be included on a DVD. And all the system cables to necessary to interface the unit to the personal computer will be included. So once the 100% transmission collection is over, the scanner will drive to the initial wavelength, that is 800 nanometers, and, and then the system will prompt to place the sample in the instrument. So I'm placing the sample, and we press OK to start the scan.
I'm using a liquid soap sample just to demonstrate that the system is responding. The unit has built-in calibration routine and the unit did pass the initial wavelength calibration routine. So once the plot is complete, we can save the task. So several features exist in this machine. And the detailed manual will describe the operation.